okay let's have a discussion on some other problems that was very very important problems which was useful in our competitive examinations suppose 220 rupees 220 rupees was made up of rupees 50 pies and 25 pies coins okay 220 rupees is made up of rupees 50 pies and 25 pies coins which are in the ratio that means coins are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 this is the question then find the values and coins of each type he gives the question as find the values and coins of each type he gives the question 220 rupees was made up of rupee 50 pies and 25 pies coins which are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 then find values and coins of each type ma this model is very very important ma comparison with the values to the coins okay coins to the values this model is very very important to you okay when you look at here you can get one thing okay here the allotment quantity is in value here the quantity ratio is in coins is it comfortable to distribute this 12, 222 rupees 50 pice and 25 pice yes or no is it yes no because allotment quantity should be allotted as per their quantity ratio i had already discussed that means 220 here allotment quantity is in values okay here the quantity ratio is in coins it is not connected to you okay allotment quantity is in values that value should be distributed as per their value ratio only but not as per their quantity ratio suppose for example if you have 5 rupee coin 2 rupee coin and 1 rupee coin okay and coins are in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1 okay then their values are in the ratio what 1 coin of 5 rupee 5 rupee 1 coin of 2 rupee 2 rupee 1 coin of 1 rupee 1 rupee so its coins ratio is different from value ratio right am i clear so that's why allotment quantity should be allotted as per their quantity ratio so value must be distributed as per their value ratio only okay here the value ratio is look at here without using the simplifications process like x 1 by 4th of x 1 by 2 of x it's not at all a correct to you for solving also it is not at all a fair okay look at here one coin of rupee what is the value one rupee okay that means hundred pices two coins of 50 pies value is 50 pies two coins value is 100 pices three coins of 25 pies value is 75 pies okay it is a ratio cancel the pices 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 you must write these terms as in the pices or the highest that is in rupees okay this can be written as a rupees also we will conclude in the next one okay 25 threes 25 fours and 25 fours so you can get 4 is to 4 is to 3 okay this is the value ratio of rupee 50 pies and 25 pies that means rupee coins have four parts of value 50 pies coins have four parts of value and 25 pies coins have three parts of value totally how many parts here 11 parts okay what is the value 220 you have value ratio on value so you can comfortably distribute this 220 rupees to those 11 parts then one part is equal to what 20 if one part is equal to 20 then what about four parts value 80 rupees okay then what about four parts value 80 rupees then what about three parts value 60 rupees these are the values of individuals these are the values of individuals okay and coins here is for the completion of one rupee number of one rupee coins are one for the completion of 80 rupees number of one rupee coins are 80 coins for the completion of one rupee number of 50 pies coins are two for the completion of 80 rupees number of 50 pies coins are 160 
for the completion of 1 rupee number of 25 paise coins are 4 okay so that for the completion of 60 rupees 60 into 4 that means 240 coins okay when you aware of the value ratio you can comfortably distribute the value otherwise you should have to identify the value ratio based upon the coins here the one twist is one coin of rupee two coins of 50 pies three coins of 25 pies first of all you should have to write the values then only you can cancel if you have the same units okay sometimes one coin of one rupee you can get one rupee two coins of 50 pies you can get one rupee three coins of 25 pies you can get 75 pies only one coin value 100 paises then 75 paises is equal to 70 by 100 that is 3 by 4th of rupee 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 cancel okay it has the denominator 4 when you multiply the each term with 4 you can get 4 is to 4 is to 3 same ratio is exhibited okay by using this way also you can get the answer but simplification must be based upon the uh, least one so 100 one coin of rupee value here the list is prices that's why here it is 100 prices 100 prices 75 prices so 4 is to 4 is to 3 here the value ratio how many parts totally 11 parts 11 parts is equal to 220 then one part is equal to 20 if one part is equal to 20 four parts is equal to 80 four parts is equal to 80 three parts is equal to 60 these are the values of individuals this model is very very important to you and to get the coins for the completion of 1 rupee number of 1 rupee coins for the completion of 80 rupees for the completion of 1 rupee number of 50 pies coins for the completion of 80 rupees okay for the completion of 60 rupees number of 25 pies coins 240 sometimes it reverse its reverse also given in the examination okay like this way suppose for example 480 coins are made up of rupee 50 pies and 25 pies coins and its value ratio is 4 is to 4 is to 3 find values and coins of each type okay this one also very very important from the coins and the value ratio we should have to identify the values here look at here 480 coins are made up of rupee 50 pies and 25 pies coins and its value ratio is 4 is to 4 is to 3 okay value ratio depends upon here when you look at here value ratio depends upon either the minimum or the maximum here the minimum is prices maximum is rupees okay that's why value ratio either may be depends upon the rupees or the prices okay here the value ratio depends upon the rupees i am assuming as value ratio depends upon the highest value okay when you multiply the each term with the highest term that means rupee 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 value ratio depends upon the maximum value okay so 4 rupee 4 rupee 3 rupee assume like this okay and its coins ratio is look at here clearly for the completion of 4 rupee of value number of rupee coins are very good 4 coins for the completion of 4 rupee of value number of 50 pies coins for the completion of 1 rupee number of 50 pies coins are 2 for the completion of 4 rupee number of 50 pies coins are 8 okay for the completion of 1 rupee number of 25 pies coins are 4 for the completion of 3 rupee number of 25 pies coins are 12 okay value ratio depends upon the maximum value you should have to remember that in most of the case for the conversion process value ratio depends upon the maximum value that's why here multiply the each term with the maximum value you can get 4 rupee 4 rupee 3 rupee for the completion of this value number of coins 
for the completion of this value number of coins for the completion of this value number of 25 base coins that's why you can get 1 is to 2 is to 3 as a coins ratio while you cancel this one how many parts here totally how many parts very good six parts okay here number of coins is 480 so this 480 coins has to be distributed based upon the coins ratio that is six parts if six parts is equal to 480 one part is equal to what one part is equal to what 80 coins if one part is equal to 80 then here 80 coins then two parts is equal to 160 coins then three parts is equal to 240 coins rupees are 80 coins 50 paisa 160 coins 25 paisa 240 coins these are the coins of individuals then values of individuals are 80 coins of rupee value is 80 rupees 160 coins of 50 bytes value is 80 rupees okay for one coin value is half of rupee 160 coins value is half of 160 that is 80 rupees okay one coin value of 25 paisa is one fourth of rupee so 240 coins of value is 60 rupees okay these two models are very very important suppose uh, i will give uh, uh, look at here if you have 100 rupees 50 rupees and 20 rupees notes okay if you have value ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 4 what is the notes ratio its value ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 4 then what about the notes ratio when you look at here value ratio depends upon the maximum value that's why i can multiply the 100 to the each term so 100 100 and 100 for the completion of 200 rupees of value number of 100 rupees notes 2 for the completion of 300 rupees value number of 50 rupees notes for 100 it is 2 for 300 it is 6 okay for 100 it is 5 for 400 5 into 4 that is 20 okay and you cancel this one 2 1s 2 3s and 2 10s 1 is to 3 is to 10 is the notes ratio conversion of value ratio to notes ratio conversion of value ratio to coins ratio conversion of coins ratio to value ratio this model is very very important to you and this is the final model which was given in the examinations in most of the cases okay thank you very much and uh, have a nice time to all. Bye-bye.